This is the iPhone 5S Take Apart Repair Guide brought to you by RepairsUniverse.com. To perform this repair, we're going to need to use a few tools, including a safe open pry tool, a pentalob screwdriver, a small Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, as well as a suction cup. We'd also like to let you know that we carry the full screen assemblies at our website, as well as all the tools seen in this video that you could also purchase in a toolkit. To begin, you'll need to take your SIM card removal tool and remove the SIM card tray and SIM card. Next, you'll need to take your pentalobe screwdriver and remove the two small screws next to the lightning port at the bottom of the device. Once you have these two screws removed, you can go ahead and take your suction cup. You want to place it towards the bottom of the screen, towards the home button. Then you'll want to gently lift up on the screen assembly, being cautious as there is a small, fragile flex cable connecting to the motherboard from the home button. Just taking our spudger to gently release the screen assembly from the housing. Here you'll see that small ribbon cable. It's going to the new fingerprint scanner and home button and it's still connected to the motherboard. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. You'll see there's a small silver cover covering the pop connector. You want to pop that off first along with the ribbon cable connector. As you can see here, the small shield. Place that off to the side. And the small pop connector going to the home button and the connection. With that released properly, We'll go ahead and lift up our screen assembly, being cautious as there are still three flex ribbon cables connected to the motherboard. You'll see here we have four small Phillips screws to remove to expose the connections. Each of these screws are different sizes, so you want to keep track when removing them. With all four screws removed, you can now remove the shield covering the connections. Next, taking a plastic pry tool, or in this case, we're using a nylon spudger, you want to release the pop connections on the motherboard in this particular order, as they overlap each other and you don't want to rip the connections. This is for your LCD screen and touchscreen, as well as front camera and ear speaker. As you can see here, we have the screen assembly fully removed from the device. Moving on, we just want to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison to the old iPhone 5 screen assembly. As you can see here, there are some subtle differences mostly in the flex cables up top as you'll notice the iPhone 5s has a much larger flex cable for the LCD screen and touch screen and then of course towards the bottom you'll see the new changes for the fingerprint scanner on the iPhone 5s screen we got that out of the way we'll go ahead and proceed you'll need to use your small Phillips screwdriver to remove three small Phillips screws towards the top of the screen this covers a silver shield where your ear speaker, front camera, and sensor flex cable assembly is held. Be cautious as these three screws are different sizes and you want to keep track of them during removal. With the screws removed, you can now wiggle out this small silver shield covering the ear speaker. As you can see here, you just want to set that off to the side for reassembly. The ear speaker should now pop out fairly easy. Set that off to the side. Next what you want to do is take your spudger and begin releasing the ribbon cable from the adhesive holding it down to the inside of the screen. You notice here that the adhesive is fairly easy to remove 
You just want to be very cautious not to rip or damage the ribbon cable. As you can see here, you have your front camera and mic, as well as sensor. Last thing you'll want to do is just peel off this little bit of adhesive covering on the back of the LCD screen to remove it completely. Next, just set that off to the side for reassembly. Moving towards the home button, you want to remove this small Phillips screw here circled in red. This will allow you to fold down the flex ribbon cable and expose the other screw underneath. And lastly, the last screw on the left covering the shield. Remove it and set it off to the side. This should then allow you to wiggle out the home button. You want to be very cautious as it's held down with a little bit of adhesive when peeling it out. As you see here, the fingerprint scanner home button flex assembly. Once it has been removed, you can set it off to the side for reassembly. Moving on, we need to take your small Phillips screwdriver and remove four screws on each side of the frame of the screen assembly. This holds the silver heat shield that's covering the back of the LCD screen. With all four screws removed, you should be able to pop it right off and then set it off to the side. That concludes everything you'll need to tear down for the screen assembly for replacement. Moving on with the rest of the teardown video, what we'll need to do next is take our small Phillips screwdriver and remove two screws covering the battery and dock port connectors. Remove the shield, set it off to the side. Next you want to take your pry tool and release the battery connection. You want to be cautious as the battery is held down with two strong strips of adhesive on the inside of the housing. You want to work your way evenly around the battery to release the adhesive, being careful not to bend the battery too much as you could damage it. Work each side so you have enough of the adhesive released for you to be able to peel it out of the housing. Once removed, you can now set it off to the side. Next, moving towards the top of the device, we're going to remove two small Phillips screws in order to remove the vibrate motor. These two screws are different sizes. Again, you want to keep track of them as you remove them. With these two screws now removed, you can then remove this silver plate here. Sometimes small components like these, a pair of tweezers comes in handy. Go ahead and remove that and then set it off to the side. Lastly, we'll have one more small Phillips screw on the inside of the housing as you see here. You'll need to remove in order to remove the vibrate motor. Again, you want to be very careful when you're placing your screws on your mat or in your workstation as you don't want to get them mixed up because there are different sizes. You see the vibrate motor is now removed. Next, moving on, we'll go ahead and remove the rear camera. As you can see, it pops out of the housing fairly easily. You just want to release this pop connector on the motherboard in order to remove it completely and replace it if necessary. Just some small black film here. Now moving towards the bottom of the device, we'll have an antenna connector we want to remove. Pops out fairly easily. Next we'll have three small Phillips screws you want to remove in order to lift out the loudspeaker assembly. 
Again, all of these screws are different sizes. You want to keep track of them as you remove them. With these screws removed, the loudspeaker assembly can pop out fairly easily. Just take your pry tool and wiggle it out of the housing. Next, we'll have four small Phillips screws to remove on the left side. Again, all of these screws are different sizes, so keep track of them as you remove them. With all these screws removed, you can then push out the headphone jack from the housing and peel up the flex ribbon assembly with the mic and lightning port connected. You want to be careful on this left side. The rest of the pop connector is still on the motherboard. Release it and release it from the adhesive on the housing in order to remove it completely. As you can see here, the headphone jack, mic, and lightning dock port. Once removed, you can set it off to the side or replace it if necessary. Moving on with the teardown, you'll need to take your flathead screwdriver and remove two flathead screws circled. Then going back to your small Phillips screwdriver, you'll have a few more screws to remove in order to remove the motherboard. All these screws should be circled in red. This particular screw right here holds down the SIM card ejector. As you can see here, it's a tiny little piece. You will not want to lose that. Again, just a couple more screws to remove. And there's also one up here that is out of frame. There's another small Phillips screw up here at the top. That should be the last screw to remove. Next, you'll want to slide out your motherboard, being cautious as there's still an antenna cable connected underneath. As you can see here, you just want to take your pry tool pop out the antenna connection in order to remove the motherboard completely. As you can see here, the iPhone 5S motherboard. Just zoom in on it. This concludes our iPhone 5S teardown repair guide. If you found this video useful, please like it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful repair guides. Thanks for watching.